P4V is the primary interface to all versioned files in the depot. It runs natively on Windows, Linux, and Macintosh and includes support for retina displays. We will be touring P4V on a Windows machine, but the functionality is the same on all platforms. All of the available commands are in the drop down menus as you would expect in a GUI, while the toolbar has icons to bring up the commands and views used most often. To see what a button or screen element does, just hold the mouse cursor over it and P4V displays a descriptive tooltip. Context sensitive menus are always available as well. P4V offers a unified interface for all versioning operations. The main window is comprised of three sections. The left pane displays all version files. The depot tab displays files that are contained on the server, while the workspace tab displays files from the server that are available on your local computer. Additionally, version files may have status indicators. The yellow triangle indicates you do not have the latest version of a file. The blue check mark indicates the file is checked out by another user, and you can see who it is by mousing over it. The red check mark indicates a file is checked out by you. The right pane is the work area. It displays views of pending and submitted change list, as well as forms for editing items such as job entry and workspace setup. Each of these screens contains additional information on individual items in that pane, and it can be resized or eliminated if you just want to view the list. Most tabs have more columns you can add to view additional information. Also, you can sort by column type by clicking on the column headers, and you can change the column order. Now, let's add a new tab. The History tab lists all previous file versions with relevant metadata. You can elect to view the versions in the list or thumbnails mode, and previews are available for most common file types. The log pane on the bottom here displays the commands that P4V issues, as well as any relevant messages from the server. It's also useful for creating scripts, since all the proper command line instructions appear here as you do your work in P4V. You can copy and paste these commands into your script, and away you go. Next to the log pane is the dashboard. From here, you can get a quick look at the status of some common events and shortcuts to frequently perform tasks. You can configure which info is displayed in the dashboard. The P4V interface is customizable. All of the tab screens can be reordered, or they can be undocked from the main screen if you want a separate view of a specific window. You can also close out a tab that you're not using. If you prefer some extra real estate, you can close the toolbar by right-clicking and deselecting toolbar. And you can also eliminate the log pane. Lastly, there are several P4V preferences available to configure items such as double-click behavior, shortcuts, font size, and other features to suit your workflow. Thanks for watching.